Okay, so we have all of my ingredients laid out of heart cookie cutters. Um, I have ground ginger because I'm making gingerbread. And I have my baking trays. And you do need about four baking trays, but I'm only doing half of my batch, which we'll, you will see. And then there's my recipe. And then here I am putting flour in. And I'll also put the recipe at the end. So I'm just about to put my flour in. And I was baking this on a like a Zoom call. And I was doing it with um, like a cooking club. I'll, t I'll give you the name at the end if you want to join and have a go. It's really fun. You get to make different things. And then I'm just mixing all the flour, the sugar and the baking powder and the ground ginger. Okay, I didn't really measure the ginger because you can put as much as you want in, depends how much you like ginger. And then here I'm putting the butter in. I used watered down butter, um, which is just normal butter, but it's best to use a hard butter. Um, but the recipe will be at the end. And then I mixed that in with a knife, I don't know why. If you see me looking like straight ahead, not at the camera, it's because I'm looking at my laptop, which is where the team school is. And then you have to use like the rubbing in method, which was with your fingertips, rubbing in the mixture. And then that's what it should look like, breadcrumbs. So I just keep doing that for about two to three minutes. Okay, now I added the uh, dark brown sugar. It looks like a lot of mixture, which it is. It's supposed to go on four baking trays, but when at the end when it's in a dough, you can like separate it into two bits, and then you can freeze one and cook another one. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's the team call you can see. There's normally a few more people on, but just at that time it was just me on. So, okay, now I'm doing all the wet ingredients, so like the egg, and then uh, what else did I do? So I think I just did the egg here. Oh yeah, and then I did the golden syrup, and if you put butter on the spoon, like a little bit, it will make the syrup come off of the spoon easier. So I did that, I put that in with the egg, just one egg. Recipe will be at the end. You could be like making this along with me, but I am like cutting bits out if I've like spoken in it or something. So oh yeah, I am cutting bits out, but you can be like making this with me at the same time because I'll put the recipe at the end. So I basically have to just mix that now into a dough. I don't know why I was using a knife. But yeah, I would use like a spoon and then I'd do the rubbing in method again. You can't use an electric whisker for this because there's flour in it and the flour, all the air will come out of the flour. So I just use my hands or a normal whisker. And then mine was a bit sticky so I had to add a bit more flour into it. You can see there, I added a lot more flour into it. But you just have to keep working it with your hands. But yeah, I definitely recommend, I think it's hashtag get cooking underscore UK. If you search it up on like Google or like YouTube or Safari, it will come up and you should join it because it's like really fun. Okay, so now I'm rolling it out. You have to make it quite thin because it will rise, but not too thin. And then I push to the heart sink, because I'm doing hearts instead of gingerbread men, but you can do whatever shape. And if you make it, if you make the dough a bit thicker, it will make your cookies um, more like cake, but if you do them thinner, they'll be more like a biscuit. So I put them on the tray. Remember, I only did half of the dough so I separated the dough into two parts so 
so I only did two trays and I froze the other half and then I was putting the oven on 180 put one tray in and then I put the other tray in and now this bit's optional but I put icing on it so I just got icing powder and then put some water in it I just dripped it in with a spoon because you don't need a lot of water but this is optional you don't have to do this Okay, then my biscuits are out of the oven and you can also, before you put them in the oven, you can do like little shapes and lines on them. So I did that first and then that's it. So I'll see you all later. Bye.